few of my recipes, I have tons of really fresh, fun, simple consumer recipes on freshfromflorida.com. So if you visit freshfromflorida.com, you can see a lot of my um, recipes. And we also have a lot of great videos as well. Yes. So, you know, please make sure to go on uh, Facebook and Twitter and find Fresh from Florida and like us to see all kinds of great updates. If you go to YouTube, you'll also probably be able to see Chef Justin doing um, some really fun things with Emerald because you've done a lot of filming with him. Yep, done some filming on the Emerald's Florida show. Um, I also have another show called How to Do Florida. Um, and in its seventh season. Wow. It plays only in the state of Florida, but if you're not in the state of Florida, you can certainly go um, on the internet and uh, you can find those cooking segments. They're a lot of fun. It's a great show. It's a family show. And um, basically, the host goes all over the state of Florida to do all kinds of fun uh, adventures. And uh, like they'll go to great farms. And, and then I'll come back to the kitchen and I'll cook with those items, whether it's seafood or fruits and vegetables. So really fun, great energy show and, and lots to learn. So much to learn. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited you're here. Um, we're going to be back together tomorrow. Tomorrow at 2. At 2 o'clock and we're going to be doing a shrimp ceviche. That's right. Nice. And again, Florida shrimp, absolutely delicious. Yes, what yes. you don't know is I'm doing a mix it, make it, celebrate it right afterwards. And I'm also using Florida shrimp and doing an adobo shrimp salad. So we're going to be doing the rubber shrimp tomorrow. That's awesome. Okay, so do we start with the beef? Do we start with the sauce? Yeah, I think let's go ahead and start with the sauce here. Okay. So we're going to get a little pan on. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of onion. Great. Um, Medium or yeah, high medium, medium high, I okay. think will be good. Perfect. And we're going to start making our barbecue sauce. Now, what we want to do when we're cooking in general is we're building layers of flavor, right? So everything we put in the pan, we want to season and we want to bring layers of flavor together. So this is a fun, fun sauce that I like to make. It's a barbecue, but it's a blueberry barbecue. I have some fish here. You can see it kind of has a nice, uh, nice purple tinge to it. And those blueberries really make it fun. It's, it's, it's sweet and it's savory, so it kind of hits all those notes. Love that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start to get our ingredients in the pan for it. I'm using a nice sweet onion here. And I'm just going to peel it. And what I like to do is cut off the top and the bottom, and then make a slice down the center, and the peel easily comes off. And then I have this wonderful flat surface to work with so the onion's not rolling around on me. And that's important for kitchen safety. Kitchen safety is of huge importance when you work in the kitchen. You want to keep things clean and keep things safe as yes, well. Yes, indeed. I like to keep fingers. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and so I'm going to cut, and I like to keep my fingers tucked under so that my fingertips are out of the way because we want to use a very sharp knife. Going to make a couple cuts like this and turn it around. Now, don't try this at home. Please do not try this at home. Always keep your eyes on what you're doing. Yes, indeed. I'm showing off just a little bit. He is showing off. Isn't Having he? a little but fun. It's okay because he's doing it. Yes. <laughs> okay. We've got our pan on. We've got a little bit of heat here. Yes. So, we're going to go with just a little bit of oil. You can use vegetable oil, you can use olive oil, whatever you have. It's perfectly good to use. We're going to add our onions. Nice. And we can get that nice sizzle, which is what we want. And then we're going to add just a little bit of jalapeno. And you know, if you don't like it spicy, don't add it. Right. It's as simple as that. Or you can help to take some of the spice down by what you're doing now, and that's leaving the, the seeds and the veins right. out, right? Yep. I usually always take the seeds and the veins out because those are oftentimes the spiciest part mm -hmm. of any chili. Right. So, and then, you know, a lot of times too, you might want to wear gloves or make sure you wash your hands immediately <laughs> after you handle these uh, spicy peppers because you don't want to handle them and then accidentally rub your eyes. Be in tears. Or any other body part, I'm just going to say. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. That's right. So, jalapeno, some sweet onions. Some sweet onions. So, basically, what we would do is let this cook down a little bit until the onions are translucent. 
again, we talked about building layers.